Do you want to create a membership website with WordPress? You can use the Profile Press plugin. In this video, we will do a Profile Press review and show our hands on experience with it. Let's start. So, Profile Press is basically a membership plugin. Using this plugin, you can build paid membership sites, you can sell digital products, and control the access and visibility of your content. So, we have a website over here. You can see we are using the Bloxy theme, and this is just a starter site that we imported. So, this is basically our online course website. We also have created a course over here. To create the course, we used Tutor LMS. And if we click on this course, you can see this is our course. Now this is a dummy course that we created just for this review. So we're going to go to our dashboard. So this is our WordPress admin dashboard. And you can see that we have the free version of Tutor LMS installed. And we have the pro version of Profile Press. Profile Press also has a free version that you can use. But we are using the pro version because it gives us extra features such as more payment gateways, access to more add-ons, two-factor authentication, email verification, and much more. Now, as soon as you install this plugin, it's going to ask you to create some pages. We can see there's the profile press logo just beside some pages, the checkout page, login page, my account page, profile page. So we don't have to manually create these pages. The plugin actually creates these pages for us. Now, using this plugin, we can sell memberships, we can sell digital products, we can also protect our content. To show you how this thing works, we are going to first visit the membership plans. So we went on ahead and created two plans, the silver plan and the gold membership plan. We're going to edit one of these and show you how this works. Over here, we can add our plan name. We can add a plan description. We can add a purchase note. We can also select a user role from here. We can select the price and we can also go through the subscription settings. In the subscription settings, we can set the billing frequency from monthly, weekly, daily, quarterly, every six months, yearly, or a one-time purchase. We can also choose a subscription length, either renew indefinitely until member cancels or fixed number of payments. If we select fixed number of payments, we can add total payments from here. And we can also add a sign-up fee over here if we want. If we want, we can also provide a free trial for three days, five days, one week, two weeks, three weeks, and a month. And finally, from here, we can choose what digital products this member will have access to. We can either choose file or we can provide the file URL and provide the name as well. But since we are using Tutor LMS, we have this option over here. We just wanted to add the course over here. So just selecting Tutor LMS, we can add the courses over here. So that is how we can create a membership plan. And on top over here, you can see there's also setup steps. So from here, if you set up the steps, you will be good to go. What you need to do is create the required pages, which we already did. You can integrate a payment method, so through which you will be receiving your payments. You can add your business information. You can set your membership currency, then create membership plans, and then you will be good to go. So we already have taken care of these two, and it's showing a check mark over here. Now, we can see this tutor LMS over here because this is through add-ons. And add-ons is a big part of Profile Press as it includes so many features. You can see PayPal, Molly, Razorpay, so all these are available over here. We can go ahead and see the LMS plugins as well. So we have Tutor LMS over here, we have enabled it from here. Profile Press also works great with LearnDash, Lifter LMS, and Sensei LMS as well. These are very popular LMS plugins. So this is how we created these two plans, and the billing details will be shown over here. We can also look at the checkout URL. We can copy this URL and place it anywhere on our site. So what we did is we created a page for our membership plans. We just wanted to create a normal design. Here's the silver plan and here's the gold plan. So when a user clicks on the register button, it's going to take them to the checkout page. From here, if they complete their purchase, they can become a silver member. So that's one way of creating the membership plans. Of course, that's not the only way. You can also create registration forms for your users. Using Profile Press, you can also create forms. So let's go ahead and see this feature. Here you can see you can create forms for login page, registration page, password reset, edit profile, and much more. So for registration, if we click on this registration form, we can see there's a default registration, but let's click on add new so we can explore this better. We can use the drag and drop builder or the shortcode builder to create this form. So if we click on drag and drop builder, we can see there are several templates that we can use. This is the default one, 
you can also build from scratch if you want or if you like any of these templates you can use it so we're going to go back to the overview because we're not going to build the form from scratch we're just going to see the default registration over here is the form so you can see this is a form builder you can simply drag and drop these elements over here so we have the username email address password first name and last name to add a field what we can simply do is grab it from here and drop it anywhere over here then we can click on save changes and the changes will be saved we can also select roles over here so if we drag and drop it over here users can select their roles from here as well we can also click on the settings and we can add a label name we can add general options and descriptions from here okay but we're not going to do that we're just simply going to remove it and click on save changes and that's it we can also design how the form will look like. We can change the appearance, background color, font family, headline, login label. We can remove form frame. We can take a look at the field and styling from here. We can look at the labels and text, submit button. We can design it. We can uh, choose how it will look like. Registration settings, the success message, which user role will be added by default. We can choose from here. And since we have two elements, we can select courses from here as well. Okay. Once we click on save changes, this will be saved. Now to view how this form looks like, we have to log out of our admin dashboard. All right, we have logged out of our WordPress admin dashboard. Now we're going to click on sign up. So we added the page on our menu over here. Now you can see the form is over here. Username, email address, password, confirm password, first name and last name. After you're done, you can click on register. If you have an account, we can log in from here just by adding in our username and password. All right, so that was the forms and profiles now we can also protect our content. So if we click on content protection over here, we have created a content protection rule over here. We can add as many protection rules as we want. So first let's take a look at this protection rule. We're going to click on edit. Here we can protect any type of content. For example, if we take a look from the start, we can choose posts, all posts, selected posts. So we can select specific posts that we want to protect. We can select posts with categories, with specific tags, with specific formats. We can also choose what pages we want to protect from here. So there are a lot of ways to add these rules. Since we have tutor LMS installed, we also have courses, lessons, quizzes, assignments. We can protect these as well. You can select all course, so all course will be protected, but we only wanted to apply this protection rule for some specific courses. Now we chose the selected course. From here, we selected our course. This is our course. You can also add or and conditions. If you want to exclude some contents, so these won't be protected, you can add those as well. So you can choose what type of content you want to protect, what type of content you want to exclude from here. We can also choose who can access the content, logged in users. We can also choose select membership plans that can access the content. So silver users will be able to access this content. We can also choose specific users that can access the content. What happens when the user without access tries to view the content? The access restricted message will be shown or we can redirect the users. So the message, that will be shown is the global restricted access message, which we can customize from here, or we can choose a custom message and write our own message over here. All right. So we can also uh, choose the access messaging type. We're going to see how this looks like. All right. Before we save this, we are going to close off this content to exclude and click on save rules. Now we're going to go back and now this content protection is active. Now let's log out of our WordPress admin dashboard and see if it's working. All right, now let's go to our courses page. And if we click on the courses, we won't see anything as we are an unregistered user. So let's try to log in because I have an account. I'm going to click on sign up and we're going to click on have an account, log in. I'm going to use my username and password. All right, now let's log in. Now let's click on courses. And now let's click on this course. And now we can access it. So that is how the content protection rules work. Now we can see that this course is free and we can enroll it, but we want to sell our membership. So let's see if it's working. All right, we're back in our WordPress admin dashboard. Now we're going to go to Tira LMS and we are going to click on settings. We're going to go to the monetization and choose profile press from here. Now let's click on save changes. Now we're going to go to the silver plan over here and we're going to scroll down. And we're going to ensure that our course is selected over here. Now, if we visit our page, we can see that uh, the monthly plan has shown up over here. If we click on subscribe now, it's going to take us to the checkout page. Now, once our students check out, 
they will be able to access this course. So this is working perfectly. So in this way, we can turn our entire site into a membership site and we can sell memberships. Now in the settings section, we can customize our global settings. We can take a look at the business information from here. We can customize the pages. So here we can set all our pages, registration, login, and there are more information over here. We can also uh, take a look at the payments over here. And if we click on payment methods, we can see there are a lot of payment methods. There's the store payments, Stripe, direct bank transfer, PayPal, and Molly. We can easily connect our Stripe, PayPal, or any other payment gateways that's included over here. Currently, we have no payment gateway is connected, so we cannot choose a default payment gateway. But this actually includes a lot of payment gateways. Now, the free version of ProfilePress will not give you this many payment gateways, so it's a good idea to get the paid version of ProfilePress. Now, another thing that I want to check out is the My Account section. So our members will also have a dashboard and they can add their account details. So if we click on Account Details, your members can upload a profile picture, a cover picture, they can add in their email address, name, and they can customize the settings from here. They can change password, delete account, and log out. And also they can look at their subscriptions, orders, downloads, etc. from here. So these were the important features of Profile Press. It's really easy to use. Let's also take a look at their pricing. So we have access to the pricing page. Now Profile Press has a free version that you can use, but the paid version actually gives you access to so many features such as the PayPal, Razorpay, Molly, and Paystack. So there are three paid plans of Profile Press standard plus and agency so the standard is the lowest package it gives you access to all core features 18 add-ons access to paypal razorpay molly paystack custom fields email configuration social logins two-factor authentication recaptcha and akismet and it gives you integration for LearnDash, sensei tutor and lifter lms and much more so this plan is available for 129 dollars per year and it's for one site the plus plan gives you three site licenses and it's available for $299 per year. Now this gives you more features such as receipt and invoice, metered paywall, user moderation, passwordless login, and also the WooCommerce and Polylang integration over here. And finally, the agency bundle is available for $499 a year. Now this gives you unlimited site licenses. Now these plan that we just saw, these are the discounted price. Normally we can see the standard price is $199, the plus plan is $399, and the agency plan is $699. If you guys are interested in getting profile press, you can check our video description for a link. If you are also interested in getting Tutor LMS Pro, you can check our video description for a link. So that was the end of today's video. We hope that this review was helpful for you. If you found this video helpful, give it a like and subscribe to our channel for more helpful videos like this one. Thank you for watching. See you next time.